Two grown men have never seen The Simpsons. It's America's barley basket. Move that fucking turntable so I can put it on the glass. Uh, <laughs> I don't want you putting anything on my glass. <laughs> oh, look, the pheasant is trapped. Who will release it? <laughs> Who's man enough? <laughs> Who amongst you? <laughs> I put it on the glass once at that when the pinball arcade was downtown. <laughs> it dawned on me. It's like Saturday at 1.30 p.m. Jesus. I know they can see my nutsack right now. <laughs> Wait, what does it mean, put it on the glass? Well, press a part of your anatomy on the glass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was it hams? Did you press your ass on Ham, the glass? I was bent over, so they got some nutsack got, yeah, in there, too. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait was, why, did you, why did you do this? Because a buddy of mine was walking up. Oh, <laughs> oh sure. comedy gold. Oh, okay, oh, so the, the glass, you mean the window. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like on top of a pinball. I'm like, oh. why would you desecrate a pinball machine like that? What's the what's the what, point of that? Who's James? Who's this fucking for? vandal, dude? <laughs> Who is this for? Why do this by yourself? <laughs> I mark it like a dog. <laughs> Uh, I, just, I just like to leave a little nut smudge at the arcade. <laughs> I'm like budging in front of someone to play Funhouse. Like, hey man, it's my turn. Like, ah, this is my machine. <laughs> Did that be, let, let me see if you get the high score. And instead of type man, you just crawl up on top of the glass, just jab your nuts right at the screen, press it in there nice, right where the number one would be. You yeah. Know? <laughs> oh, it looks like they Nathan had a good who, game. They all know who it is. <laughs> Nathan must have been on a hot streak. There's a fresh nut smudge. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see me gracefully climb on top of a oh, pinball machine. I would like to see moly. that too. <laughs> Take my nuts out. <laughs> we all want to see that. I would love it. That machine's getting broke. I'm getting broke. <laughs> Nobody's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, the uh, onlookers would be. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I used to go to that pinball arcade all the time when it was downtown. Uh, I, would, yeah. I would go there after work when I worked at the club. Yeah. I'd go there hammered play pinball for two hours and sober up and drive home. Oh, yeah, totally. Still Smart. hammered, but less hammered. Yeah, <laughs> right. You can have point two four down to a point one eight. Yeah. <laughs> You're up to two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the, I won, a, not to brag or anything, but I won a Mario Kart 64 tournament. Nice. And, and what, what I got for winning that was a year membership to it. But this oh, sure. after it had moved from downtown to like uh, way down south like university 30, 32nd in university yep. yeah. Yeah. but I was living like oh, literally yeah. two and a half blocks from there nice so I would just get drunk at home and it's open you can just go in yeah. there whenever yeah. Yeah. and so I just walk over there and I got pretty good at the Hobbit one I miss that place dude and if I nice. remember correctly the south Fargo one even though the location sucked, they had more games in there too. Probably, I never even went to the one downtown, so yeah. I have no idea. But there was a lot. It was a lot. I mean, it was a fairly big like office space, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was just lined the entire wall. You know, what do you think all, all those four machines are at now? Uh, most of them are at uh, most of the new ones ended up at Drecker Brew Hall. I was gonna say yeah, and most of the old ones ended up at Gastro Pub Billiards. Oh really? Yeah. So like, if you want to play Wizard of Oz, you got to go to Brew Hall. But if you want to go, if you want to play Fun House, you go to Gastro Pub. Like the, the Gastro Pub that's just down the road from here. Yeah, that big oh. billiard spot. Yeah, oh, good for them. Yeah, but pinball is like blowing up, but it's and like I don't think people like necessarily want it in the set. Like, like, like the beer cade has blown up, right? Mm -hmm. Not so much like, hey, here's a spot where like we're not letting you drink. There's not a bar, and there's a bunch of pinball. Yeah, I'm sure it's as much more successful for them to, however they do it, rent those out or whatever they're doing. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they make more money, and it's maybe even less hassle. I don't know. It could be. Yeah, I mean. By just renting them out to bars, you don't have to deal with any of the like, oh, I don't need a space. I don't yeah, right. need That's insurance, you, for, you yeah. know. And it's wild how big and quick, how big it's gotten, how quickly. Seven years ago, if you saw a pinball machine in a bar, it's like, look at that. Yeah. And it was broken as fuck. Yeah, right? Yeah. It never worked. Yeah. There yeah. were nut smudges on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the least of your concerns. Yeah, we may as well fuck on this. It's never going to work. <laughs> you see a smudge, you're like, I hope this was nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have nut smudges. <laughs> how many pounds of crocodile were snorted off the barbed wire machine at Ralph's and more? Oh, man. <laughs> that game. <laughs> Pam was crying. Man, Nut Smudges is a good stage name for somebody. I don't know if it's one of you. Uh, maybe, maybe I can get a, I can get a character called Nut Smudges. Yeah. <laughs> I could do like an old timey, like an old timey comic. He's either old timey or he's like weirdly European. Oh, he's like sure. Danish yeah. or Dutch. Yeah, or sure. Like, like K N U T yeah. Scandinavian. Yeah. Yep. yeah, 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 for sure. 
<laughs> it's pronounced smooches back home. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knut smooches. <laughs> Knut smooches. Yeah. In Holland, I'm Knut smooches. <laughs> Holy that's worse. moly. That's like way that. worse. Yeah, that sounds like smooches more like, you know, I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll never tell. <laughs> Everyone likes a good nut smudge, but a nut smooch, I don't know. Count me no. out, fellas. No. no, thank you. I don't know. I don't know where you guys are on the, on the hetero scale these days, but <laughs> these days it's a moving target. The spectrum, dog. Yeah. <laughs> spectrum. <laughs> Got to respect the spectrum. Uh, welcome, by the way, to America's Barley Basket. Hi. Episode, I don't know, two oh nine. I think Sounds roundabout right. in there. Damn, hey, bros. I'm Marlon. That's Nathan, and our friend Josh Delay is here. Hi. Hi, buddy. Thanks for letting me back. Of course. <laughs> I feel like the last one I was on, I was I, afterwards I had a lot of anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I was really drunk. I and like, I've, I've heard myself on my own podcast enough drunk where I'm like, oh, I want to fucking <laughs> open up a vein, you know, just end it all. Uh, and I was like, that sucks to do it on their podcast. <laughs> it's, it's good if I'm not on it. Like when I'm there, I should just be like a little extra little, like a nugget or something. Like you drive a little more carefully if it's somebody else's car. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I should be an ancillary character. I should not fucking overtake the entire thing with my drunken ramblings. And I think the last one you were on was when we were in, what, International Falls yeah. way up north? I'd been drinking heavily all day. <laughs> and we were, like, we were doing the show between the two of us because we were in Simpsons mode, yeah. so we were recapping, and you would just <laughs> chime in once in a while. You were sitting yeah. across the table, yeah. and you'd just be like, I don't know, fucking blah, blah, blah. Uh, I ain't out. And so, you would drop something the inane. microphone on the table. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. There was a point in that night, I think you pointed it out to keep an eye on it, not like in a concerned way, but like you were talking to the woman that owned the bar oh, and the yeah. look of terror in her eyes. <laughs> not like you weren't being crazy or intimidating. I think she was just like, how is he still standing? Yeah. <laughs> like, like a medical oddity. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got that. Uh, so, must have been, so I've decided to stop doing a certain hard drugs. Sure. Um, yeah. And a, a big part of this was so I, I hosted at the cellar like, I don't know, maybe like a month ago now, okay. right? And I don't, like, I'm like, I'm probably too honest sometimes, especially in professional settings. Yeah. Not the comedy. Yeah. Also, I don't respect comedy as professional. <laughs> sure. So that's yeah. also why I think I just, like, am unafraid. So this headliner was, like, this guy who was, like, a total, like, he was a nice guy, but I like, totally, like, obviously, like, I'm creating a brand, you know, I'm getting out content. Like, he's like, I'm just here to make good reels. Like, you know, like, he's like, he's a oh, business, okay. you know? He was yep. a nice enough guy. Like, he wasn't uh, a dick, but, like, yeah. that's his thing. Sure. And, like, I am literally on cocaine and drunk <laughs> <laughs> on Friday night. I did not sleep. Oh, oh, oh boy. Um, did not get a wink of sleep. Woke up Saturday morning. <laughs> and then, so I'm just like, well, I guess we're just rolling now. It's like noon. I'm not, there's no sleep that's going to be had. So I just do cocaine and drink all day. <laughs> and so we're, so we're sitting at Fort Knox and then like, we're there with Ethan Peterson, very identifiable. Okay. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. he sees Ethan and he just happens to be walking by. I was not hanging out with him, this headliner. And then he comes there, and I'm like, oh, yeah, man, no sleep. And he's like, what? I'm like, I would be good to go for the shows, though. Don't worry. And so, and, so, and so then I'm like, I'm working the door before the show, and he's like, have you slept yet? I'm like, nah, man. He's like, Jesus. Like, he's just, he's just shocked by it. And the first show, I do fine. Like, I, But then the second show, it's like the late show. It's a smaller crowd. Sure. And I'm just like, yeah, we're going into the bag. You guys are doing crowd work, getting a little crazy on stage, which he apparently did not take too kindly. And, oh, give me a break. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was fine. I mean, yeah. Ethan was there. He's like, dude, it wasn't. You, it's yeah. like, he's like, you did not disrupt it that bad. Apparently, yeah. he was unhappy. Uh, okay. And I mean, uh, ultimately, what I'm saying is, that some people are shocked. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, I was 48 hours what, awake. And what's the the tipping point for you when it comes to not getting to like, fuck it, I may as well stay up. For me, it's about the two hour mark. It's like, yeah. if I'm only going to get two hours of sleep, why? Even yeah, that's it's got to be around there. Put your pants on and start your yeah. day. You know? Yeah, it's like, totally a mindset thing too, right? Because in your head, you could be like, no, this two hours I'm going to value. But yeah. usually I'm like, what's the point? Yeah. I think you can, it's like, it's completely your mindset. Like if you just tell yeah. yourself like, Hey, this sucks. Yeah. This is not okay, but let's mm -hmm. just see if we can't get like an hour or two here. Let's see. If we, mm -hmm. But it's, but it's never that I'm just yeah. doom. I'm like, whatever then I'm just going to keep doing cocaine <laughs> 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 until, <laughs> until the wheels just come off. <laughs> then how much you sleep on the next night? 
<laughs> that's still not good oh boy <laughs> yeah that's, that's what i was assuming was you were like well if i don't sleep now think how good i'll sleep later yeah, nope <laughs> it's, yeah, not, it's still yeah i'm done yeah, for, yeah, for you're not working towards will, a payoff it's like a week yeah. later i'll get like 11 it's like there you go uh, oh boy <laughs> well, or what happens for me is like if because i just recently on one of these comedy trips i had a night where i slept fucking 45 minutes max Oof. just couldn't fuck my struggle with fucking sleep and then fuck fuck it you're up dude and i like when i get that little sleep i'll sometimes be like nauseous i'm like oh yeah, so yeah fucked up but i fucking rolled that wave couldn't fucking believe it and then i go to, I was like then it finally it hits me you know all the adrenaline of the show it's like holy fuck i have i've slept 45 minutes in the last 48 fucking yeah, hours dude. <laughs> lay down immediately fall asleep wake up four hours later awake yeah it's that's like, that's what it is like, just like just looking at the mirror and like you dumb fuck <laughs> go, to, go to bed i'm like an angry parent go yeah dude bed. just go to bed bro you I get in there and you lay down the light off yeah like it's an indictment on yeah. your yeah <laughs> on your own self i mean with me it kind of is you're not yeah. you're not just abusing drugs for yeah. 48 straight yeah. hours yeah. So it's even worse for you. Yeah. At least for me, it's just like I can actually yeah, can like yeah. flagellate you're, you're a little bit. You're pouring diesel into a gas <laughs> engine. <laughs> I've, I just need a fucking tune-up. Uh, Meanwhile, you're able to get all this sleep deprivation yeah. for free. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh. Uh, I, I fucking look at roommate Tim sometimes. And just like sleeps like the dog does. Yeah. Just let, casually laid out on the couch. <laughs> yeah. TV on. Just, fuck, you could be vacuuming. Yeah. You could be fucking tuning the piano. I hate it. Just deep, blissful <laughs> REM sleep. Sleeps like it. a four-year-old. I like, hate it. Doing like the cartoon snore yeah. with a whistle. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a feather. <laughs> a little feather. <laughs> Comes tumbling down, almost touches his lips. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's how I like to envision yeah. Tim sleeping. Yeah, I mean, it may as well be. I've never a... seen him yawn. <laughs> no. I yawn no fewer than 80 times a day. Of course. I'm yawning perpetually. My of body course. constantly needs the oxygen. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. It's uh, it's fun, though, because like he's also like super lib. So yeah. it's so fun. He's just laying around. I'm like, yeah, this is how. <laughs> Holy shit. This is how you're going to fight for women's rights, huh? By sleeping all day. Just kicking the couch. Biden's America working 20 hours a week. Like, Meanwhile, I don't work 20 hours a week. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm not a hard worker at all, yeah. but at least I don't sleep 12 hours yeah. a day. <laughs> at least say that. Oh, man. That fuck does sound bit. nice, though. I'm gonna, fuck, I'd look like a different person if I got 12 hours of sleep, but I have blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> just like fucking golden Ric Flair locks. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. Nothing else changes, though. Just bright blonde man, hair. I would love to see you with some Ric Flair <laughs> hair. That would be dope. <laughs> oh, I tried to dye my hair blonde in high school once. Oh, oh, there's only boy. a couple of pictures that it, I did the thing where I didn't realize it takes multiple trips when you have yeah. really dark hair. I didn't yeah. know that. I thought bingo bongo by my fucking bright blonde hair. Oh, boy. But I had, so then I had fucking peanut butter color. Yeah. yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Which is a terrible <laughs> one. I became great. crazy peanut butter head. And I did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately went into the fucking went into debt to dye it back to a relatively normal color. <laughs> <laughs> what a choice! Yeah, right. But when you're making six bucks an hour, just dropping sixty dollars on a hair care sucks. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Half a week. Oh, paid. then around that time, I had the fucking ill fated fucking frosted tips. Look ridiculous. Is that real or is that just in that bit you no, tell? I, I, well. I, it was was it, it was like streaks of blonde in my hair. Do you remember when that was the thing? Like highlights, or, yeah. yeah. Highlights, thank you, that's what I did. But like I had like long hair with a middle part, so it just looks like I had fucking snot combed into my Beautiful. fucking hair at fucking random intervals. It's like... Made, nothing made any fucking sense. <laughs> I need to, I, like, I have a mom. Why wasn't she stepping up? <laughs> well, she would after the fact. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you probably weren't running these by her. Yeah, yeah it's true, too. Like, like a, a lot of fucking making quick decisions. So this was all in high, in high school? You were, like, going and getting your own haircuts and doing all that? Yeah. That's kind of crazy to me. Yeah. You, who, who, your mom? Well, my hair? mom. Yeah, we were talking about oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the ghetto barber you just left. I'm like, yeah, my mom got a certificate from there. <laughs> 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 my mom's one of those. Uh, <laughs> Wonder what made her choose the barber college and not a fucking I, salon. Yeah, I don't know, man. Was it cheaper? Like, I don't know. Bet, bet you're the fucking bell of the ball when you're a lady at do, the barber college. Do you, I wonder if do you wonder if you need like a high school diploma to go to a salon? Maybe. Oh, and you know there maybe, are. Yeah. I don't know. Anytime I'm in there, there's sometimes there's no women, but there have been. A a couple times there's like three women working so yeah. it's not completely they hot yeah. one of them wasn't bad yeah one of them looked like me 
but one of them wasn't bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like two of them weren't yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. One was definitely a skill position player. The other was a lineman. <laughs> <laughs> one was returning kicks. <laughs> one was breaking wedges. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <A> thicker neck is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's amazing. I used to work next to, I think it was Joseph's or something downtown. Those ladies, oh man. Oh, my God. Back when it was in the old location downtown yeah. in that shitty old building. Yeah, oh, God, it's not there anymore. No. Yeah. I got, right, uh, like, 4th and Main, yeah. That's where I went all through college. Yeah. Get my fucking haircut. Yeah, I worked at Drunken Noodles, so I would go in there and get get the worst haircut of my <laughs> life. <laughs> I should have gotten more, because I was like, I just want you to, like, cut my hair so it's, like, even and straight. Yeah. And then they're, like, she's, like, putting gel in. She's like, you're going to do it like this. I'm like, no, I am not. No. <laughs> I will never do that. Yeah, I'm going to put a hat on. Yeah, exactly. You did ruin my hair, though. <laughs> Thanks for that. Wasn't a degenerate hippie and had hair that got cut on a regular basis. I went to the same tiny-ass barber shop. Easily could touch both ha- each wall if you stretched out. It was fucking five feet fucking wide. <laughs> Old dude, been there for decades. He was the guy. I'd go in every time. He always thought my name was Jeremy, and he always thought I worked for the city, and I just stopped correcting it. <laughs> so I'd have to, like, I have to remember that and make up, like, play along with the lie. Like, oh, but you're getting a lot of overtime this winter. Yeah, sure. Am. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he always gave me like a Carl Perkins fucking pompadour. Amazing. Like he just had one men's haircut. That like, he knew, yeah. And he had like, he just get a huge dollop of fucking Dapper Dan or fucking. <laughs> some manner of pomade. Some kind of yeah. pomade. Just make this. Do you think I play bass in a rock band? <laughs> 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 like, who's asking for this? Uh, <laughs> now I realize there's never anyone else here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just see a Reverend Horton <laughs> yeah, heat? <right. laughs> DVD. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> He just hung it up within the last five years. He that dude was there for like, they like got a write up in the forum about him. Like, oh yeah. sure. Forty seven years later, for a half a century, giving bad haircuts. He's like the bar, he's like the bar from King of the Hill. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he, start, he starts having dementia. <laughs> <laughs> If you start slipping mentally, you got to get out of the barber game. Yeah. You can't oh, be. Oh, dude. You can't yeah. be swinging some scissors around. <laughs> yeah, well, barber, crazy. when I was a kid, his name was Grandpa Ted. He wasn't my grandpa. You just <laughs> called him Grandpa Ted. That's so fucking old, interesting. He was the size of a boy. Like he had shrunk down. To like I'm sure at one time he was a short man. Now he was four foot six. It's like a Mark Twain character. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Everyone thought he was Grandpa Ted. Yeah. and he his side hustles he pull bikes out of the trash and make Franken bikes for like 40 bucks. My first bike was a Grandpa Ted fucking Picasso. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Mismatched parts. <laughs> Built for a grown man. I was five. <laughs> I'm a long-legged five-year-old. But, fucking bash my, kit bikes. My dad got me on it. He's like, ah, you don't need no goddamn training wheels. We got this. It just let me, and I was kind of getting it, but I didn't know how to stop, and I couldn't touch the ground. Eat shit so hard into a drainage ditch. Like a ditch so deep, I just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, and if I'm fucking howling, like, we got to get you a real bike. Yeah! <laughs> like a fucking men's highway 12 speed. <laughs> I'm shocked that he decided we should get yeah. a real bike. Yeah. Also, it's just like your phone. like, Jesus, why do you have this bike? It's like, I don't know anything. I procured this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> clearly, you're, you're a half-brained idea. Yeah. Don't crawl down my my ass. I bought it from a barber. <laughs> yeah. You bought a giant bike yeah. from a barber. I bet my dad did the math. If he keeps riding this bike, he's going to have to go to the hospital, and that will be more expensive oh, than my sure. A bike is cheaper than yeah. a cast. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. But as a kid, I mean, real little, like not even kindergarten yet, so like four, three or four. My dad was in charge of getting my hair cut. I don't know why that hand was handed to him, but like it was like something on a Saturday. Bring Nathan to the barber shop. Do whatever you got to do. Mm-hmm. He would like sit me down in the car, like, "Hey, <laughs> Grandpa Ted is a very old man. He's very sleepy. Sometimes he falls asleep when he's cutting hair, which he would." Oh boy! <laughs> hey, 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 Grandpa! Oh, right back to it. You know, Amazing. and he was kind of stern. Like yeah. he learned how to cut hair in the twenties. You know? Right. Like, so he had no time for 
foolishness. And my dad, like, if you're very good, I will buy you a toy after this. And I would sit there just swallowing tears, like choking back the tears. Sweating. Just. As I would just feel him lazily drag a scissors across my scalp <laughs> until he woke up again. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> oh, man. From what I've always been told, hell of a barber, though. Did a good job. But just sure. Working. And then I find out later, a friend of mine who I grew up with, they moved to Botno when he was like three. And, uh, you know, hey, moved to town. Got to find a kid needs a haircut. Let's find a barber. The only barber in town. Bring him there. And this friend of mine was a fucking maniac as a fucking 18-year-old. I can't imagine what he was like when he was three. A complete fucking monster. And, shit. <laughs> and she, his mom brings him in, and she's like, okay, Tim, I just need you to be on your best behavior. Okay. And just sits there and doesn't make a fucking peep. And, my, and she was like, holy shit, this is the best he's ever been in public. Just proud as shit, you mm-hmm. know. Fucking gives Grandpa Ted the fucking money. He's like, hey, Tim, I'm going to go out to the car. When you're done, just come on out. Okay, Mom. Fucking... For a minute, but she's like, I'll just sit in the car. Like, ah, he is such a good little boy. And he just fucking jumps in the back seat. Okay, mom, ready. And she's about to put it in drive. The fucking door flies open. Grandpa Ted grabs him, puts him like in a headlock, and puts the burl cream in his hair and just <laughs> violently combs his because he left before he could comb his hair. Well. <laughs> and just sets him down. Have a good day, ma'am. Jesus <laughs> Christ. She said he sat there in fucking silence. <laughs> His little fucking brain could process that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, imagine as a child or an adult, somebody yeah. grabs you from behind, puts <laughs> you in a headlock, crazy. and does your hair. <laughs> crazy, man. You know, your hair combed against your will. <laughs> <laughs> by uh, surprise oh you my know, goodness French this shit no <laughs> uh, somebody came up behind me and like put some pomade and got everything greased just right maybe put a tie yeah. in I'd be like what the hell what the fuck is this happening is weird <laughs> I'm not comfortable with uh, this <laughs> Looks nice. <laughs> Looking in the mirror, yeah, I love it. Thank you so much, but don't do that. <laughs> Can't be doing that to people. And then with the the barber that thought my name was German, I worked for the city. One time, I get home after a shower because I want to get all the fucking burl cream out of my hair because uh-huh. I smell like a fucking medicine cabinet. <laughs> I'm shower, I'm fucking combing my hair out. Looking in the mirror. There's one strip of hair that's like five inches longer. What the fuck? Look what he missed. <laughs> and then someone's like, no, dude, that's what he uses to tie up the pompadour. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who cuts someone's hair like that without their consent? <laughs> Leave a tarp strap of hair to hold it all together. <laughs> Fucking madness. That dude raised a family giving the worst haircuts in Fargo. <laughs> that's amazing, oh, dude. <laughs> nobody too nobody everybody's too impolite to say something i remember being at my buddy's house in high school and his dad was like i don't know what i did to piss off fucking denny the barber like why is it he gives me the worst goddamn haircuts no he's just terrible at his job <laughs> <laughs> and the, the wife over here is like why don't you go to diane she's great like, i have a woman cut my hair oh my like, god i like ridiculous. that ridiculous i like that <laughs> have you ever heard something so yeah. silly I'm a, I'm a <laughs> i mean i do like the fucking charm of a barber shop i don't know what it is but i sure like, like a men's yeah. specific barber yeah. shop sure yeah. a place where men can be men you know yeah, yeah. take your shirts off maybe <laughs> your pants yeah everybody exactly. farting yeah <laughs> It ain't nothing you haven't seen before. Take them undies off. <laughs> Walking into a barber shop and everyone's naked. Even the guys waiting yeah. in the chairs. Just the fucking barber has some orthopedic shoes and some fucking high socks, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling someone's dick uh, against your thigh and they're cutting your hair. <laughs> Dude. It's resting on top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you got to worry about? I'm going to put that plastic apron on yeah. you anyway. <laughs> You got nut smudges <laughs> imprinted on yeah. you. You're going to get like a cloth one. I don't like the plastic. <laughs> it's getting real sweaty under here. Uh, fuck, dude. <laughs> he just gives you the same one the guy before was wearing. Uh-huh. I want a fresh one. <laughs> Please, can I get a fresh shower curtain? <laughs> Him wiping himself down with a towel on a hook. <laughs> it's sweaty in here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Hey, could you put some clothes on? Sure thing. Puts on a half tee and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
half T, high socks, or the big shoes, nothing else. Just like the sporty, like half cut T shirt. Yeah, yeah. It was like Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah. yeah. I was just going to say, like, property Chicago Bears or something. Yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> and cut so it's higher up in the front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, on, it's on a gradient. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! I thought that that's a, I thought my mom cutting my hair was kind of a nightmare growing up, but this this stuff that you experienced, yeah. dude, those people, dude, yeah. that's not my mom. Was she just like as she was cutting, she would just get fucking inch in your face, just cackle at you, Ooh. just look in your oh, eyes and just like laugh how she's fucking your hair up, just start laughing directly in your face. It's like, God damn it. I was like, I was like, never again. Every time I'm like, never again. In, uh, no shit. She how just, old? I mean, it's hard to she, say no to free haircuts when you're living at yeah, home. Yeah, so I don't know if she actually ever cut my hair again, like after I was 18, but occasionally, like, because I used to just shave my head every summer yeah. and just let it grow back. Yeah. Shave it, let it grow back. Um, so I'd let her like do that because like, you know, just quick, but even mm. then, you know, she'd fuck around. Yeah, yeah, I was I like bad. The fact that she knew she wasn't good at it. <laughs> well, she no, she was good at oh. it, but she was just like, so she would just like cut she a just little bit just to you. make it look weird, and, and then she just looking at it, just <laughs> cackle in your face while she's like eating chips. It's like, <laughs> God damn oh it, dude! My, God. my mom's a nut, dude. <laughs> Still cut your dad's hair. I would assume so. Uh, I bet my yeah. I'm sure my dad has never gotten. It's probably been. 35 years since anyone else has cut it. I have hair. plenty of buddies though. If I had to like guess, their yeah. mom was the hair cutter in the yeah. household. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I mean, she, I mean, she got whatever fucking Moeller Barber college yeah. is worth. She <laughs> has a certain, she, she went she, through she some sort of, yeah. she went through some fucking schooling, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh, it's not modern, but it's good. <laughs> Who was in charge of taking care of your quaff as a young man? When I was real young, there was uh, we went to a lady in town who cut hair just out of her house. She cut hair and rented VHS and Nintendo games. That <laughs> out of her rips. Homes? Yeah. Up. That rips, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> and this is in Leith? No, in Carson. Oh, okay. And the big city. Yeah, the big one. <laughs> Carson City? <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know if I don't know if fucking budget belts got tightened or what but then my mom cut my hair like th oh. throughout the pretty much the rest of my young life oh, okay yeah it was like occasionally there would just be haircut day <laughs> sit backwards on a fucking kitchen chair in the uh, kitchen and yep. get your fucking haircut <laughs> one of you first and then the other yeah. me and, and dad <laughs> and then i think by the time i was like late into high school i think there was a lady in town a different lady in town cutting hair again and i'd yeah. go to her okay that adds up. I don't know if I just didn't trust mom not to yeah. get my fucking <laughs> mullet straight or what. Yeah. Well, you were rocking a mullet all through high school? No, just late high school. Gotcha. I, I adapted wild. late. Yeah. That, that was a late high school yeah. thing. So that's what all my senior pictures that's have. That's fucking like, awesome. I want to see one of those. You didn't catch any shit for it? No. Or like, did, an, did enough kids have it? No, it was me. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, there was one kid in my class. Mullet with, Larlin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> they called it the marlet. <laughs> yeah, dude. Holy shit. That's fucking awesome, dude. You know, I was doing my own thing. <laughs> Put an activator in it so it's wet. <laughs> Just dripping it. Like a wrestler. Oh, <laughs> I always look fucking... in the mirror touching it. <laughs> that's too good, man. <laughs> Uh, man. <laughs> yeah, I was living. I was, I, I was very, like, I was very well liked. I was easily likable, so I didn't really catch shit for any dumb shit yeah. like that. See, for us, it was That's always nice. your buddies would brutalize you if you did anything out of the norm. <laughs> yeah, there was plenty of that. Yeah. Dude, but, you were, like, for whatever reason, I got away with it. Yeah. Dude, you were telling me on the trip up to Brainerd that you were learning to play guitar. Your brother was like, ah, you're gay. Why are yeah. you playing guitar? Oh, yeah, you're catching gay. catching shit for learning how to play like, guitar. The whole reason you play guitar is to get pussy. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's the least gay yeah. thing you could possibly yeah. learn how to do. And he stopped playing because his buddies called him gay. Oh, I didn't, that's the one thing I didn't stop. Oh, like, you kept I playing? I just was no good at oh, it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Holy this, shit. My own lack of talent stopped me. <laughs> It'd be funny if your homophobia yeah, stopped yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, clearly what I'm putting out isn't working. <laughs> so I need to add some skills yeah, to this. Yeah, dude. It'd be fucking juggling if the guitar doesn't work. Learning guitar is just like the least gay thing. Yeah. Right. It's like literally to get yeah. pussy. It's yeah. like, if you're good at it, you will get pussy. 
yeah. a percentage more pussy than I you're just, getting right now. I think there was a thing in the 90s culturally that if you tried at anything, yep. you were a poser. <laughs> like, yep. like, awesome, like, getting shit, like, if you got good grades, you better put no effort into it. Yep. Yeah. Like, and I had friends like, I don't, I don't study. Like, like, yeah. like, hey guys, I'm not, yeah. I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure, I jerked him off. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like doing it. It's like, all right, bro. <laughs> yeah, you we're could... Like, you just couldn't be seen putting effort into In anything. Some That's circles, very funny. You would get shit if you were seeing a girl, <laughs> like right? Yeah. Like, yep. like, the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get laid? That's gay. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out it's just a couple of the popular kids were like fucking bi curious or something. Right, and they yeah. Handle it. <laughs> there were some deeply yeah. rooted issues yeah. there. <laughs> That's so Pretty you're making out with a girl at a party. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was like legit the best day of my life. <laughs> you guys would think I was cool for once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope. I did it for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. <laughs> accomplish anything and then be like oh you think you're fucking special yeah. no man i just did a thing yeah, how much? i just did well in the spelling right. bee. i'm sorry yeah. oh my god yeah fucking <laughs> if you did well in the spelling bee like i had friends that would throw the spelling bee because they didn't want to be fucking like, it's dumb yeah, they, yeah i, I don't want to take a trip <laughs> to bismarck with the fucking puds <laughs> right a friend that made it to like nationals and some kind of ffa or vica vocational thing where it's like okay he, uh, you're north dakota's best junior fucking electrician here's a trip to kansas city with three kids you never want to hang out with <laughs> it's like, I'm, like they're like i will never do that again <laughs> i will throw this every fucking year <laughs> just breaking that teacher's heart because it was the highlight of their year to have a kid that's actually good at shit <laughs> nope <laughs> it's gotta be tough to be a teacher <laughs> oh my god i almost was dude i mean i was no i shit. went for a year that was my i could i could go back and i bet maybe three semesters but like Two or three semesters, I could go back and get it yeah. still. I bet me too. I have an English degree. So. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like all, all your like core stuff will probably be done. There might be a, like a random kind of fusion education. Yeah. I know. Class you have to take. Of- um, but yeah, I was close. I like almost did it. Uh, I, built out, I built out right at the end and then just within two more semesters, just, just got the straight up English huh. degree. Yeah. Was English the plan? English Yeah, teacher? yeah, yeah. I mean, that was my plan of like going into college. Sure. But yeah, I can't imagine that. I think like. First, I got kicked out because I just was fucking around too much. And I was like, no, I actually do want to do it. And I was like, oh, I don't want to, you know. I, was like, I thought about, like, me being in front of uh, impressionable people. I'm like, that's not a good situation for anyone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I don't know. If, you seem like you'd be a good if, influence. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'd do anything, like, creepy or anything. But, like, I just, like... I can't imagine I'd be living much differently. It just would be a teacher, and I think that's not probably great. Like, right. to just put you, pick you just up, pick, and drop yeah, you over here right. where you're yeah. a teacher? Or then, maybe even worse, I, like, just become a teacher. Mm-hmm. Like, I just start acting the way teachers act, and oh, that, that's sure. a worse fate. That's, yeah, that's you know what I mean? Either. Fuck that, Come dude. on, guys. Yeah, <laughs> man. Uh, God bless them, but nah, they're fucking oh, losers, yeah. dude. <laughs> fucking dead weight on society. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think you're right where you're supposed to be. Yeah, God, I tell yeah. my parents that, man. <laughs> Send them a memo, dude. Yeah. Give me your phone. Let them know. <laughs> Just face. I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Why is he saying you're okay? Are you on drugs? <laughs> Are you? Is there foam coming out of your Are mouth? You folks, wanting to give you a hard time about nah, how? Ah, you- not much. Yeah, I yeah. have a more. It's it's more of a guilt thing for me where yeah. I'm just like, oh, they tried hard and they had way less than me and they made it, they did good mm-hmm. and then and then I. I didn't do good. I'm like, that it's, probably sucks for like them. They, they apparently didn't have super cuts money. So right. <laughs> really yeah. But you know, I, I, I like to think that they told themselves, Hey, we're making sacrifices. So our kids will be successful. Yeah. And then it's like, ugh. did they pay for your college at all? No. Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> no. I think we need to put them on the stand. <laughs> See how they hold up under the bright lights of scrutiny. That's a, that's a good call. Yeah. They bought me new sheets when I moved into your place. Yeah. Oh, that that's, was pretty nice. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. That was pretty nice. Those aren't, yeah. those aren't cheap and buy. Biden's America. Who doesn't, love, who, <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't love new sheets? The price of linens through the fucking roofs, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my parents have been pretty fucking hands off, probably since like my 
early to mid 20 when they realized yeah. things weren't going to go how they <laughs> want. Cause all, if I showed up for fucking 4th of July with a haircut and told my mom that I became, I'm going to become a high school history teacher, she would cry tears of joy. Yeah. It would be the best news she's ever yeah. Like, yeah. She'd be so happy. Yeah, I think my parents would have liked it too if I yeah. would have just done that. Something like modest and like hardworking and like, you know. My mom would <laughs> respectable. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did, just a normal haircut would be make my mom so fucking happy. Yeah. She doesn't you just have showed up with a Lego hair. Yep, yep, exactly. Yep. Just and, a Knights Boy haircut. Yeah. yeah. Make her so fucking happy. <laughs> my mommy loves my hair. Yep. <laughs> She won't stop talking about it. <laughs> Your dad starts growing his out. <laughs> it's not curly at all. Just he, he looks like fucking Anton Sugar <laughs> in old country for old man. Yeah. Dad's terrifying. <laughs> his page boy haircut. Oh, he's strong, br- fucking. <laughs> Bangs, <Yeah. laughs> don't, don't put it in your pocket. <laughs> uh, It'll become just a coin, which it so is. Boring. Like the like the long bowl cut that like squires would have. Yeah, yeah. yeah page boy haircut. Yeah. God damn it! Oh fuck, dude, that's funny. <laughs> Dad cuts his hair on the way to work. <laughs> Holy fuck, driving by someone on the interstate cutting their hair. <laughs> dude, my dad cracks brews on the road, that's for sure. That's, that's cool, dude. <laughs> that was the best, dude. Like, so I, I worked, like, so he he's worked at uh, Type Machinery forever, right? And so I worked there just, like, during the summer, I think in between college. It must be between, like, freshman and sophomore year, or maybe going, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, but, yeah, so we'd be driving back home, so I still lived at home, so it must have been maybe going into college then. Uh, and yeah, just on the way home, every day, stop at the same liquor store on the exit of Moorhead, just get in the car, wouldn't waste a single side, just crack. His ashtray was just filled with beer caps. <laughs> and I fucking, I sold him out. I, I see my mom knew about this. It was like just a couple years ago. I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah dad's always cracking beers on the way home. She's like, he is? I'm like, oh, oh fuck. Oh <laughs> really broke bro code yeah. there, dude. <laughs> Because he was like, I'd be like, hey, D, he's like, you give me one, too. He's like, hard day's work. You, get, you do, you get a beer on the way home, you know? But what, what was yeah. his beer of choice? He, he drinks he drinks good beer. Interesting. So he was like into like craft beer, like like back when like Summit was like yeah. one of the oh only my, ones yeah. available, like yeah. and like Breckenridge probably like like those types of early adapters that were like kind of mass produced but still kind of craft, you know? Yeah. So he'd be drinking like EPAs, Summit Fuck. EPAs a lot, like back do way young, like. Huh. So when you were a kid, if you opened the fridge when you were eight years old, there was like high end. Yeah, beer. it was only that. That's fucking yeah. wild. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think he, I've ever seen him like drink like I don't know if I've ever seen him drink like Coors Light or Miller Light. Like ever. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. I mean, he must have had some books. This wasn't always a thing, but like all my memory is that you know. Huh. Yeah. Always a beer guy. Yeah, I think like I think my mom doesn't let him drink it. <laughs> I would bet some things got a little wild in their in their struggling days. If I had to guess, I don't know this. This is a pure theory of mine. But I bet she stepped in and been like, "Hey, how about no more <laughs> quarts of whiskey on a Wednesday?" <laughs> Hurling things around the home. Clearly, shit your pants. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about any of that. But I would. I would think it's been hinted at that maybe he. That gets, a, a, gets a little, has a little, gets a little wild. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't a common thing when I was growing up. Even though people who had dads that drank, they must have been primarily beer drinkers. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't remember many liquor cabinets in anyone. That's house. like the respectable, like yep. blue collar yeah. thing to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Like if you're like a, if you're a junkie, but like you yeah. know, alcohol junkie or whatever, yeah. and like you have, you don't have like a steady job. You're not like take pride in work. Then you're probably just glugging at some Windsor, but. Yeah. I mean, there was also the old American mindset of, like, beer doesn't count. Like, they had to run, like, PSAs in the 70s of being like, hey, guys, (laughs) you still are drunk. (laughs) Like, that's a real thing. They had to run public service announcements about that. That's so funny. And, like, like my dad, it was beer beer all the time, and then it was liquor for uh, for special occasions. Uh, Like, you only had a cocktail... Like if you went somewhere nice for sure. just for steak night oh, or yeah, something. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, and and of all the lick of all the cocktails, you would could pick to be your cocktail. 
EJ and water. Oh, interesting. Oof. What are you doing? Oh, man. That's rough. Dude. EJ <laughs> and brandy? Yes. Brandy, brandy water. water. Dude, yeah. Is that like a thing that people do or is that a fucking the Marlon's people. dad original? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he invented that. Brandy Waters does sound like a porn star. Yeah, right. But Holy uh, shit. That's yeah. awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> EJ and water Fuck Interesting Yeah that's gross dude oh, uh, That's just gross <laughs> I, dude. Can't, I can't imagine being like Boy I sure do like this brandy God, I wish I could sip it all day Probably dude. like 20 years ago When like the low carb thing First came out I was like, oh yeah, I just gotta cut out coke Or whatever or anything when you're, And I would drink rail whiskey waters That sounds so fucking Oof. repulsive Yeah that's but rough like, buddy Yeah right Yeah <laughs> Like I'm a health nut. Ah, this hurts. <laughs> no days off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm spitting up. Rise and grind. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Let's get this bread. Dude, I've crippled myself financially in bad times to not drink rail. I, I just, I don't know what it is. I'm not a fancy guy in any way. Yeah, but see, for me, when it comes to mixed drinks, I could give a fuck. Yeah, it, might, it depends. Like, oh, like a. A Jack and Coke and okay. a Black Velvet Coke are the same. Maybe to that. You. Yep. Sure. If, there's, I get like, that. if there's like a soda going in there, but like I like to drink vodka sodas, and that that makes really? a difference. See, for me, yeah, a like screwdriver. A Kharkov with... and soda and a Tito's and soda, in my opinion, are two different drinks. Really? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, totally. I should try. That both. makes a big difference See, in my, in my opinion. head. When I was drinking vodka, I was making fucking ghetto blasters or some fucking poison. <laughs> What's <laughs> that? It's fucking grape juice <laughs> or our, uh, grapefruit juice and fucking vodka. That's gets you there. <laughs> That's not racist. That's not racist at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I got, I'm pretty sure the title comes from a Dr. Dre song. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. That's okay. Then. That's fine. <laughs> then it's fine. But the, the thing is, the grape the grapefruit juice is so fucking tart. Yeah. That you it doesn't can, matter what. You yeah. can mix it 70-30 vodka and it's yeah. still going to you couldn't That's taste nice. the stab, but I, mean, I bet I drove 0. .40 drink <laughs> with a fucking great f- fruit juice bottle between my legs. Jeepers. <laughs> <Yeah>, Oof. <laughs> See, there Oof. I think you're onto something. If the mixer is strong enough, the booze doesn't matter. That's why yeah. Coke is a strong one. Grapefruit uh, juice is strong. Yeah. But if you're doing I agree. vodka waters or yeah. I drink tequila and water yeah. or, or uh, not uh, tequila and soda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, then like, it really matters. Then it like, matters. Jose, Jose and soda is not the same as Patron and soda. Exactly. Right? Like it makes 100%. a big difference. Yeah, because yeah. all you're doing, all the soda's doing is making it fucking bubbly. Right. You know, it's yeah. not adding Diluting anything. it slightly. Good call yeah. with Coke is so caustic. It really powers. Oh, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, You can hide a lot in Coke. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like... The only time I give a fuck is if I'm drinking something on the rocks. Mm. Like, if I'm given the choice, hey, you want a shot of fucking Windsor or do you want a shot of fucking Jack Daniels or fucking any other mid-tier whiskey? Sure. Fucking Windsor. Who cares? Oh, black. Yeah. Because I'm just, I'm, it's just to get me there. I'm not, I'm not enjoying the shot. I'm just choking it down, you know? Yeah, like, that's true. But if it's on the rocks, that's like fucking. That it doesn't fuck. make a ton of sense to shoot good yeah, hooch. Yeah, good point, yeah. And I have lots of friends that do, you know, like dude, oh. it actually makes no sense, like especially like a nice bourbon. Like, yeah. you, like uh, taking a shot of it is gross. Yeah, yeah. sipping it is good. Way like, better. Like it yeah. literally changes yep. the flavor of it. Yep. I think what it is is, especially when people are young, they don't even understand the concept yet of drinking something on the rocks. Right, right. Because all they know is beer, mixed drink, shots. Yeah, dude, that's what you drink when you're a kid to get hammered. You know? A kid. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're a boy. Yeah. A small boy. <laughs> Nine. Ah <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> Mixing vodka Mountain Dews on the yeah. school bus. God, I because I I mean I started young, but not like some kids. I do remember being like at a house party when you're like 18, and there's like a 12 year old there. <laughs> Yeah, it's rough. Guys, I mean, this kid's, he, he's trying to be one of the guys. He's giving a hell of an effort, but that motherfucker is, yeah. hasn't yeah. passed hunter safety yet. Yeah. <laughs> he is just a boy. Uh, Too early. Or more often than not, it was a girl. You mm. know, it's like, which one are you That's not good. Creeps? That's, that's, that's really alarming. terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck, I remember it's like, danger, danger. We shouldn't be here. There are children present. Yeah, yeah. that's no good. Because it's also like, if this party gets busted by the cops and everyone's 16 and up, we're just going to get minors. If there's an 11-year-old here, we're yeah. going to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> an 11-year-old dancing in a cage. <laughs> 
<laughs> her parents signed a work release. <laughs> it's like she's not drunk. Test her out. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are getting up to up there, dog. <laughs> Things get wild up in North Central North Dakota from what I've heard. I've heard enough stories about a lot of the shit you guys got up to, and it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. Just the, Nothing like, surprises like, me anymore. Be like getting late to a party, and there's just people laying in piles because everyone got too oh, drunk. Oh, yeah. You know, where it's like, we missed this party. It's like, yep. we mm. got to the tornado late. You know? Yeah. Like, it's already done its damage. Yeah, like, that's, that's such a weird feeling. Like, the music is still playing, but you could, everyone's dead. Yep, right. A few yeah. people are still alive, but even they're like not really into it yeah. anymore. Oh, man. Fucking knock on fucking air, beat in the back of a fucking cop car. Been a long time, and I hope to keep it that fucking. <laughs> uh, I, I question what you would even get arrested for right now. Like, I mean, it's not like you're out here fucking yeah. throwing firecrackers into playgrounds. Yeah. I'll have a Good few point. Chardonnays now and then. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no Ubers in rural North Dakota. That's a good point. I'm pretty good about fucking keeping it pretty tame, though. Like, yeah, like or like when running from the cops. That was something you did weekly when yeah. I was 18. You know, that like, was a thrill, huh? Right? Oh my god, I took such fucking pride in it. Yep. Was get, I get, long- getting away feels good? Oh my god. It's so, and, and this is a shitty thing. You getting away, but hearing someone else get yeah. fucked. It's like you fucking too slow. <laughs> I was I, I took pride because like I know I'm probably the slowest one here, but I'm gonna run at a pace that I'm not gonna stop, and mm-hmm. someone's gonna get confused. Some girl that's too drunk is gonna panic and run the wrong fucking way, and that's who's gonna get fucking busted. <laughs> You're just slow and steady. Yeah, I'll f- fucking how many times like maybe fucking popping a fucking door on an old grain truck? I'm just gonna chill out in here for a while, <laughs> wait for all this craziness to end. <laughs> Laying in a grain truck with a glove yeah. compartment full of mice. Yeah, a little, little fucking 1989 titty calendar. Oh, Look at yeah. this. <laughs> and the big old fucking goddamn fucking warhead fake titties. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> Those old like mechanics, magnetic or stick on yeah. dashboard calendars. Yeah. Dude, I'm the size of a goddamn business yeah. card. You got to lean in real close to get a look at them. I beat off one of two times. <laughs> <laughs> Just here the other day. One, one had a job I don't want to disclose. And the other one when I was working at Subway when I was like 14. I, you know, you're that young. I just like saw it. I'm like, well, yeah, I better just go. It. I guess I best go jerk well, off in the go. men's room. I'm going to be flushed all day if I yep, don't. Just <laughs> straight up. It's like, well, uh, only one way to. <laughs> it's just a chore. I got to get yeah, this uh, out of the way. Truly, yeah. yeah that's it's like real. calisthenics. Yeah. Was I along for the only time you've ever gotten pulled over on a comedy trip, or have you been pulled over outside of that time? That was the only time where I was like, holy crap, I don't hope I don't have to take a breathalyzer. Yeah. There was another time I got pulled over for whipping a Yui in a town of 30 people, <laughs> and a cop fucking hit the cherry. He's like, I was like... And I was like, hey, man, how's it going? Like, we're just we're performing at the bar here. And he got, like, real angry. It's like, what are you doing, man? Like, it was like one of those old towns that's so small, Main Street's 50 fucking feet wide. Mm, yeah. So it's like, bro, what the fuck is, like, like I was, like, indignant. But it's like, I don't want to get him more fucking mad at me. Right. He didn't write me up, but it's like. What are you fucking doing? Dude? Right, it's relax. Seven o'clock. The fucking sun's out, man. This whole town is two dozen cousins. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> relax. Don't feel like you won. You got the best job. You right. Don't have to do shit. Don't pretend you. I don't have that in me at all. If this job is cake, I'm not gonna good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna lay around. <laughs> like, Absolutely. Why? What? Like, if you if you have a self conscious issue with that, get a different fucking job. Like. Cops that want to make problems where there aren't. It's right. Like, move to fucking Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, move yeah. somewhere where there's crime. Get some action. There, there yeah. are places there is plenty of action. Like, yeah, dude. That time we got pulled over when I forget where we were coming back from, doesn't matter, but after that comedy show. And nobody was drunk, but everyone was yeah. on paper, not, yeah. oh, not shouldn't be driving but like when that dude he's like trading fucking you know insurance and id and all that and we're like he i think he asked for a joke i cracked him a fucking street joke and shit just trying to be fucking charming hopefully a racist one if it's a cop (laughs) (laughs) oh shit i I should have known my audience this is why you're better comic than me if there was less than one edward in that joke you You failed (laughs) you know your audience it's pretty timid but i'm alone with (laughs) <laughs> Only four N words in an old <laughs> yeah. thirty second joke. Yeah. Um, 
but then like as he was talking to you that dude came by without on the highway without getting over and yeah, like that, almost fucking clipped that, that fucking cop. suburban was 18 inches away from that cop and he, Jesus. he had his crew he was set. mad yeah, he like guy. threw nathan's id back at him just yeah. like this fucking guy yeah that's good reason. good night and just fucking well i knew i was probably gonna have to do the roadside olympics because a second cop car pulled mm-hmm. up i was like ah, fucking and remember i threw my back out that fucking weekend <laughs> yeah you so did. i was like oh jesus man i'm gonna have to level with this cop man like you're gonna have to help me get out of a car <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not a good right? start yeah no shit. you're getting breathalyzed for yeah. sure <laughs> every <laughs> tiny little divot in the road you were just oh, oh i forgot oh, that you were like wincing oh, jesus yeah. dude i was just trying not to laugh it was such a bummer to not be able to just oh. openly laugh <laughs> I, had, I had a really good if that was the same time i fucked my back up about i had primo tickets to see Sturgill Simpson. Yeah. But I threw my, my back was so bad I couldn't stand. Mm-hmm. So I'm just staring at someone's back for the whole <laughs> show. Like, f- so fucking furious. That like, sucks, uh, fucking bro. Fucking blows. Yeah, fucking missed Chris Christopherson and fucking Merle Haggard because I was all gouted up. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> I had to sell tickets due to gout. Your body doesn't want you going to yeah, concerts. Apparently not. Yeah, outlaw country concerts specifically. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Maybe, maybe start seeing some pop acts. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. I, I bet you'd be fucking reared and ready to go for a Lizzo show, just, dude. I look 20 years younger after a pink concert. <laughs> Give your body what it wants. <laughs> <laughs> You'd come out of there just glowing glowing because pink's real positive yeah, and shit uh, you'd be just smiling <laughs> god i haven't been to a big fucking show and fuck garth brooks whenever that like a big was. arena show yeah. shit that was a hundred years ago yeah fucking eight nine years ago I I've, n- I've never been to anything like that like not oh. that not that big for, oh, but for, i mean for, like for, even like fargo dome big i've never been to a, a concert really? at the fargo dome. <laughs> you're kidding i saw jim gaffigan there but it was like a quarter of the fargo yeah, dome or right something. that was at the dome that time that's a weird venue for it him. was weird i saw him at the civic center and they sure. still had a few chairs open yeah yeah Never been to a big show at like the XL. Mm-mm. Really? I've never even been to the XL. That is fucking fa- fascinating. I'm a I'm a guy, kind of an avant garde kind of guy, you know. Mm-hmm. And I guess when Bob Dylan plays a show, it's oftentimes it's outdoors. Yeah, like and even even when he'd come to Fargo, it'd either be at Newman Outdoor Field yeah. or the Civic Center. Yeah, I saw him in like a I saw him in Milwaukee in uh, November or whatever. That was like. Just in a theater that probably sat like 500 people or something. Interesting. Huh. Maybe, maybe more. I don't know how to fucking. Yeah. But, but not, it was not like a giant theater. Right. It was an old you, school, very cool theater. But you think he's the kind of guy that'll ever announce a final tour? Or will he just bow? Oh, no. He's going to die. Just stop yeah, he's not going to do that. Well, he yeah. physically can't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually seeing him and Willie in Somerset. Oh, yeah. In uh, nice. September, I think. Yeah, that'd be a good one. That place is cool. I and John Mellencamp's there, too. Oh, really? I think. Yeah. That's well, a good, that's a good fit good with songs. those, too. Yeah. 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 He's that's some decent shit. I think we're gonna try to camp. It'll be fun, dude. I saw Slipknot at Somerset. That's a yeah. that's a fun spot. Yeah, that, I went that to big outdoor uh, spot. Yeah, I went to Northern Invasion, which I think is in I think it's in the same spot. I think that sounds it's right. gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw all sorts of fucking random bands. I saw like Hoth- like Hawthorne Heights and Andrew WK and fucking uh, Alice in Chains were like playing at the same time. You know, nice. three different stages. <laughs> I was like, this is hilarious. I I was I went to we went over to Andrew Buchanan because that's like where the major like moshing was. Sure. So my buddy Al and I walked in there and we got into the mosh pit for like about a minute. Where it's like kind of it's like it starting to get intense. We're like, all right. And this lady walked into the mosh pit just staring down at her phone, completely unaware. Oh, we watch no. her walk in, she gets fucking depleted. Oh. <laughs> Al and I look at each other like, I think this is about time we get out of here. Oh. But just like a girl like tweeting or something, just walking into a fucking fevered mosh pit. Oh, and God. dude, absolutely leveled. <laughs> like leveled is usually like overdone. So that's yeah. the only way to describe what happened. She got fucking oh, leveled. Like, like like her fulcrum was at like her fucking <laughs> waist and it just spun, you know? <laughs> It was insane, dude. Oh, I was like, "Holy shit!" She's just she's tweet- not okay. <laughs> she's just <laughs> she's just tweeting like, "I sure do love being upright." Oh, yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> I love walking. Yeah. I really appreciate <laughs> being a biped. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-two years, never been tipped. Oh my god! <laughs> it was she violent, was dude. Off the slide backward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. She got hit by fucking Hardy Nickerson, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was brutal. I was like, "Oh." Holy fuck. Holy shit. Check for flags. Dude. <laughs> it was nuts. I was like, that's... That violence was unnecessary. Yeah. I liked it, but it was uh, crazy. I... 
I think the only thing I saw that was gnarly, and this one kind of sucked more than funny. I can't, it was a big arena fart rock show. I'm sure it stunk as they always do. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> shitting themselves all the time. <laughs> and, uh, I saw a fucking cute little pixie gal. I don't know what show it was at. Her and her boyfriend, they were very, like the kind of people like when you, like, you're, you're near them at a concert, it's like, you know what? This is a good, this is a working relationship. Mm-hmm. I'm taller than you. I'm not going to bump into you. I'm not fucking all full of beans. We're going to make this work. And a fucking, someone gets passed over fucking, that was long enough ago, People still fucking crowd surf. And that guy f- was starting to fall, as you do, and he twisted his body violently, and the heel of his fucking Doc Martin caught her right in the fucking mouth, and I oh. saw two teeth on the ground. Jeez. Oh, poor fucking thing. Oh, like, that sucks. Why, why did you save her, man? <laughs> <laughs> do you see this? Do you replay this in your head every night before you go to sleep? As I'm, as I'm fist pumping, like, oh, no. <laughs> I shouldn't celebrate this. Doc Martin's a big, chunky boot. Yeah. That's oh, a, that's a bad one to get that's fucking bad, healed by, yeah. dude. Yeah. Fuck that. That is sucks. moccasins opposite. That's getting yeah. clubbed, dude. Remember, that's yeah. not good. Remember, she didn't even flip out, but like her boyfriend's like, "We have to just go. Yeah. You don't have teeth, <laughs> right?" <laughs> well, that guy's a fucking cuck, dude. Why didn't he say it? Yeah. <laughs> you should have done something. He definitely should have done something. <laughs> All I'm hearing is a bunch of fucking cowards in the oh, story. Shit. I mean, I think it's a victimless crime, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, a woman. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you think, Nathan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy that guy did. There was no malicious intent. About time. About time. A white woman admits she's not a victim. <laughs> it was. It was gravity's fault at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. Do you I'm, think people? Still I'm sure fucking... you couldn't have done anything. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think people still crowd surf? I bet. I yeah. bet it happens. I think so. I think so. Yeah. yeah. There was a time, it was like the fucking runoff of the fucking grunge era, where even like, I remember being at a Little River Band concert and people were fucking crowd surfing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was in Omaha watching Cursive. You know Cursive? Yeah. There was a fucking, there Sur- was crowd surfing there. <laughs> what the fuck? And now, granted, they're from Omaha, so it's yeah. probably like a, a little extra amped up. Yeah. But I was like, guys, this is... <laughs> They're playing a fucking, there's a violin on stage. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. It's like, <laughs> you can't fight while fiddles <laughs> play. <laughs> Yellow tribute band. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I think we're fucking close to there, though. I remember yeah. looking at the clock. I thought we had a little over We an passed hour. the hour not oh. too long. Hey, there break, you go. So. Hey, an hour, that's fucking, you get through one of those, you feel good. Is that your, is that your cap for oh, the perfect podcast? Yeah, we get to an hour. hour yeah, we, uh, <laughs> We usually are fucking crawling the last 10 anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It slows down considerably. <laughs> Alan, these days, too, he's fucking going upstairs, taking care of his baby in the middle of the podcast. Yeah, what and, a dud. And Pete and I are down there having whatever fucking stupid conversation we can muster up. <laughs> Speaking of podcasts, I may as well tell the people. Oh, yeah, it's back. Plug it. Back and better than ever, uh, the Going Hard podcast. Check it out. Uh Yeah. Find it's good. it where you enjoy, where you find all of your favorite podcasts. Yes, it's very, it's, it's good. Wherever you're listening to this, you can listen to that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love going hard. It's good stuff, boys. It is good stuff. <laughs> it's an elite <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we got some good things going on over there. <laughs> we're going to go sling some jokes tonight well, as we're recording this. Are. They've already heard it by the time you're hearing this. Or uh-huh. we've already done, the, we've already told the jokes by the time sure. you're hearing this. We'll tell you next episode how it went. You've been, you've been to this venue before though? Oh yeah, like fifth time. That's why I'm just hosting. Okay, it's good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, fucking, Sweet. Yeah. I I've mean, been, summer shows are always spooky, but I think they've never not had a turnout, so I'm sure they will tonight. Yeah. All right. Very I, good. I've only been here once and it was like an all timer. Hell yeah. Good, 10. good. That Brainerd one I felt like had potential, but they were just very drunk, I feel. Yeah. They are pretty drunk. Yeah. Like, it was still a fun show, but they were pretty drunk. Yeah. I feel like sometimes, like, I, they just completely, like, didn't listen to one entire joke of mine, and I'd be like, okay, well. <laughs> I feel like whenever I, whenever I wasn't being dirty, which is weird, because I'm usually just all dirty, and I just, like. Just uh, filth. Anything I did that wasn't dirty, they were like, nah, shut, uh, <laughs> shut up. I'm like. This is weird that my <laughs> instinct to not be dirty is now failing. It's now backfiring yeah. on me. Yeah. Everything I ever stuck to. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. 
Yeah, this will be good. Probably get some blackjack in. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I haven't played in like a month. Ooh. I play so much now, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> the last time I played was that night in Minot, and that oh, was a that fucking was tough 41 one. 41 that winter. Uh, that was. I turned 40 into 80 last night. Uh-uh. That's that all boy. you ever want. Yeah. It's always my goal, dude. Yeah. Uh. But yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for having me on again, boys. Of course. I, I, I think I was way less annoying this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have way less anxiety. Good. I don't want you having anxiety, uh, buddy. Uh, You're fine. Can't We're stop, having fun. Can't stop the anxiety train once she's rolling along. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That's a tough one. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, though, boys. Yeah. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.